Good morning and welcome to the first day of a brand new week on. That's right, I'm doing a whole week on with seven days and it's going to be one of those old-fashioned gubbins. So if you want to see how it goes, please subscribe and all that YouTube bollocks. This week I'm taking on Gusto, a recipe subscription service a lot like HelloFresh. It's pretty simple really, you tell them what you like, they'll send it through the post including all of the ingredients you need, although apart from a few things like flour and milk, but we'll gloss over that. All you have to do is choose the number of people from two to four, the number of meals you want from two to five, and how frequently you'd like your box. But because this is a week on and you can only get from two to five boxes a week, I've had to get a box of five and a box of two, which isn't the most efficient way of doing it, but if I wanna play by these own rules that I've set, then it's gotta be done. And with the 60% off introductory offer, five meals has cost me £17.59 while the other two have cost me £24.79. I hope they're worth it. But what that does mean is that with such a massive discount, it's worth signing up for at least one box, which you can then cancel later on, because during this cost of living nonsense, a whole box of food for less than £18 isn't too bad. This is in by no means a sponsored video, but if you do want 65% off, that's a whole additional 5%. If you use this code, Link's also in the description. You'll get 65% off and you'll get a two to five box gusto pack of goodies. I hope it, at least it's a goodie. There are inevitably going to be some similarities to HelloFresh, which I've already covered on this channel, but I'll try and keep them as infrequent as possible. So I've been through the meals and made my selection for the week, and I've tried to get a mix of stuff so we can see the range of food that gusto has to offer. In this week on, I'm only going to focus on the food that I have from Gusto, so ignore the fact that I'm not going to cover breakfast and lunches. Although just assume I've had something calorie light because I'm trying to shift some timber, you see. And speaking of which, I have jumped on the scales and you can see that Gusto has a lot to work with. And without further ado, it's time to check out the Gusto delivery and see what this whole malarkey is all about and try my hardest not to compare it to... Fresh. And the box has arrived. So with the help of my glamorous assistant. Oh, this is nicely packaged, isn't it? Uh, oh, couscous. Red lentils. What's in that? Red lentils. <laughs> no, I can't remember. Don't know what that is. Uh, there you go. A bag of stuff. We're not going to show too much what's in here because it's going to give spoilers for the week, isn't it? Absolutely loads of herbs. Ooh, what's that? Herbs. Oh, oh, we didn't order and that. Spoon. It's a freebie. With a little gusto. Does branding. that mean we've won the second place wooden spoon award? Yes. Um, some spaghetti, I think that is. A pepper. Broccoli. Half a cucumber. Don't spoil us. One very small, that sweet. Is small. Potato, some onions, a lemon and lime, an onion. A lemon and lime? The lime's over oh, there. Okay. Mushrooms. The world's smallest onion, otherwise known as a shallot, I suppose. And another box of... St oh, hey, hang on, sorry. I've got some wraps. wraps. I'm carried away. Easy freezy. Oh, that's just the bag to keep everything cold. Well, then a big box of stuff. Ginger, is that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yogurt, some chicken, some beef. Right, this all needs to go in the fridge. Ugh. Oh, and the recipe cards. That that would help, wouldn't it? Don't give spoilers. Right. The oven is warming up, and for the first meal of the week, we're going to go for something hopefully quite easy: cheesy broccoli pasta bake. And looking at the picture, it's quite nice. Yeah, it does look really nice. So we have got all of the ingredients together. Yeah, with your phone. Yes. Um, so obviously we have broccoli, this stuff, which looks a little bit pasta. like pasta shells, uh, and then these. Not actually that many ingredients, so I'm hoping we can break ourselves into this nice and gently. So because this is a day-by-day -day week on, we're going to go and do a, a nice cook-along with Mike and Grace. So let us begin and make the first meal of the week a cheesy, broccoli, pastery, bakey thing. So step one, we have a pan of boiling water and in goes the pasta no one knows how to pronounce. 
uh, and that goes on for four to five minutes. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. And then we need to prep this. Cut the broccoli into small florets. What, what are you doing? That's a massive florette. Well, I'm going to make it smaller. There we go. So in to the water with the pasta goes an enormous amount of broccoli. Just a tree's worth. So while that boils, we peel and slice the shallot and grate the cheese. That's the tiniest shallot ever. It's very difficult to cut as well. Where's your fingers? Mm -hmm. I can't really see. The light's rubbish. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. There we go. And it's going everywhere. Give it to the cheese. Don't spoil the cheese. There's not much of it. What's, what's this bowl you've got out? It's the massive. The bowl. It's huge. Don't you spill any more, look. Look at this. This is your fault. This is not my fault. I accept no responsibility. You are the one who's doing it right here, right now, now in front of me. Okay, the broccoli and the pastas had four and eight minutes, respectively. So that drains. And then back in the pan it goes. Although, let's take it off the heat. Let's take it off the heat so it doesn't cook. So the next stage is two tablespoons of olive oil into the pan. Start it, isn't it? Yeah, we'll eyeball it. Then in goes the shallot. So while that sizzles, we're gonna make some stock. In goes the mix. In goes the hot water and then to make it nice and creamy 250 ml of milk so up to 350 keep going keep going keep going keep going there we go once the shallot has softened a tablespoon here we go of flour which we had to supply ourselves good grief uh, we're basically making a roux so there we go. Lovely. Live room making here on the YouTubes. And then gradually in goes the milky, stocky, salty, creamy mixture. Maybe um maybe we'll cut to when it looks like a roux. If we get lunch, it's the onion. Mm, sure. Right, so it looks kind of thin, but there is our white sauce. So next, uh, we go half the grated cheese, the soft cheese, ground paprika, and all the Dijon mustard. So this will hopefully thicken it up. We can only hope. Shall I help? Let's mm -hmm. add paprika. And then half of the cheese. Chuck it in. There we go. A bit more for good luck. And the Dijon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shall I get it out with a spoon? Yes, please! Paprika's all clumped. Make it a bit... Uh, clumpy. Like clumpy and red. Clumpy and red, that's what you want your food to be. Mm. Whisk it, give it a good old whisk. It. Elbow grease, my love. And then we just uh, chuck that in there. Oh, it's stuck. So stuck. Quick, free it. Free my pretties. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, get those stragglers off. Come on, you can do it. We believe in you. We don't believe in you. We believe in you again. There we go. Give it a good old mix. Hopefully that sauce thickens up a little bit because it is quite thin at the moment. Very thin. Oh, 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 we've forgotten the black pepper. Oh. Don't forget, it is in the instructions. I don't know if we've got any black pepper. Wait, I can see some very small flecks. Mm, that's gonna make all the Oh, coming out. It will. It will, you see, it will. Right, I think it's ready to put in the old dish, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, 
that noise. Sounds Moist. like I'm sticking my fingers into an open wound. Uh, do that regularly, do you? Well. Uh. Bit of cheese. Okay. Ooh, it's a bit, it's a bit stingy, isn't it? It's is a bit, yeah. I, mean, I would quite like it to be one, you know, stringy and gooey, but. Alas! Then wouldn't be 500 calories a portion. No, that is true. So let's uh, stick it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. See you at about half six. I'll tell you what, it's actually smelling pretty good. Not that I'm surprised that it's smelling pretty good. It's just broccoli, pasta, cheese, milk, stock. Um, but maybe it's just because I'm absolutely famished. Oh, oh, steamy, steamy. Ooh, that's hot. It smells very cheesy. It does. Hey, that looks good. It does look good. I like that it goes crispy as well. Oh, yeah. I'm excited to try this. Me too. It smells Let's really good. Get it served. Do you want to be any sauce now? What have you done to my sauce? Oh, dear. Look at that steaming. Mm. Absolutely steaming. It's a huge portion, isn't it? It is going to be loads, yeah. I mean, that's already a fairly decent portion. Still, still more than half yeah. left in there. So, and I, but I am really hungry. So, give me all that you got. Okay, there you go. Okay, right. Let's try the. I still don't know how to pronounce this pasta. Any ideas? Shell pasta. That will do, won't it? Oh, I hope it's had nice. a bit with no. Sauce on it. I'll have a bit of broccoli because that seems to have really soaked up a lot of that sauce. That I was hot. gonna say that looks hot. But mm, really cheesy. The um the broccoli just have a little bit of bite to it. Definitely cooked all the way through, so it's a bit soft, so it's not crunchy, but it's really, really nicely cooked. But the actual pasta. Mm. I think the sauce mm, is maybe a little too thin because it's not coating it. It's not all nice and unctuous and all those other words they use on MasterChef. But it's okay. Would you like to just try a little piece of. Go on then. It's quite oh, hot. It's very hot. It Thank you. I'm sorry. Oh. The prominent flavour there was paprika. Look at that. Mm. It's nice, yeah. It's nice. Could be could be saucier. Yeah, definitely. Could be could definitely be cheesier. But it's a nice start and it was nice and easy to make. Oh right. I've gotta say, the more I ate of my broccoli pasta bake, the more I enjoyed it. It definitely could have done with more sauce. It could have been cheesier. Probably another crack of black pepper, but alas, we didn't really have any. Um, but what there was, I really, really enjoyed. That was a really good start to a week on Gusto. And I uh, don't think I could really complain. Maybe if I was really trying hard to complain, just a bit of meat, a bit of chicken in there would have really just ramped it up to the next level and, and a bit more sauce. But as it stands, really, really enjoyed it. The broccoli really soaked up all of that sauce that was there and that was delicious. Really, really good. So I'm more than happy with how this has started. So yeah, I mean, and for less than 600 calories, it's, it's good, it's good. And even a dummy like me could cook it. The instructions were fairly easy to follow. So not too bad at all. I'm gonna avoid this week from comparing it too much to HelloFresh, but from what I've seen so far, it seems pretty comparable. So weigh up your options and see which one has the better meal choices for you. But as it stands, I would say we're, we're on a kind of an even keel. So if you would like to see the rest of this week on, please do subscribe to, to the channel, sub, submit the bollocks, hit the like button, follow away, social medias are all below. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, if you want to get your own 
um, Gusto box for 65% off. I've put an affiliate code below. It's, this is not a, an, a sponsored week on, but you know, if I could get a free meal out of it, then why not? And plus you'll get 65% off as well. It's sharing the love. So there we go. Day one, a week on Gusto. It's a good start. Let's hope the only way is up. These things don't really go that way, do they? But hopefully. <laughs>